Want to add a spruce of Valentine's Day decor, but you're unsure and decorating seems to feel like a chore? Stay tuned for my love letter DIY, rest assured. Let's do this. First off, I'm going to take a piece of muslin fabric and I'm just going to cut it the length that I want. I end up making three total. And this is the muslin fabric that I had previously tea stained in my kitchen sink. So, now, I kind of want something to support this fabric. So, I'm just going to take cardboard and cut it to the length to fit inside my fake envelope, fabric envelope. So I cut out three pieces using the first piece I cut out as my guide for my other two pieces to cut out. Now that I have them cut out, I'm going to take and glue them down. Now, you don't have to use hot glue. You can definitely just go in with regular glue, Mod Podge, and just kind of brush it on. The glue's a little dangerous. So here I go, I'm going to hot glue it down and I'm using that piece of cardboard to protect my fingers. And I left a little leeway there on the two sides. You notice I didn't make it the whole length of the piece of cardboard as my fabric. And I fold all three pieces different. Because I wanted two front showing envelopes and one back. So you just kind of fold in the sides if you want the back way. And then you, like you're with wrapping paper, like you're wrapping a gift. Now if you do decide to make these, you definitely don't have to make them as big as I did. I just kind of went into this project not knowing what the heck I was going to do. So mine's a little long, like a long letter, but it's all good. I like it in the end. Now that I got those wrapped in the cardboard and the fabric, I'm going to add some embellishments with this scrap piece I have here. And I'm just going to take and cut out random size hearts. Now this one is the back facing one and I wanted it to be a bigger bold statement piece so I made a bigger heart. Then I made a little postage stamp looking thing for the corner of the one. And I do embellish all the backs with hearts even though you can't see them. And to the postage stamp what I do is I take and cut out a piece of cardboard and put a heart on top of it. Bam! I like the color contrast. And then I'm going to take with my Sharpie and I'm going to write to my love. And if you decide to go in and write with a marker on this fabric, it's easier if you kind of stretch the fabric out how I had my hand there. I stretch it with my thumb and pointer finger and it makes it so much easier to write. And yes, you can seal this with Mod Podge and it will not smear. Then I'm going to go in and add these little squiggly lines that you would find on a letter. <laughs> and I'm going to add little dots to the ends. And I colored that hard in, but I did not like it, so I scrapped that idea. Okay, so here's my coffee grunge recipe on the screen here. And I coffee grunge just this one, the one with the big heart that shows the back facing. And I set it off to dry. Okay, back to this one. I took another piece of cardboard and wrote with my Sharpie Deliver by February 14th. And just hot glued it on. And I'm going to end it with some dash lines around the whole envelope. Once I'm done with my dashes, I take that little piece of scrap fabric over there and cut out a little heart for the back. And I use my cardboard again to protect my fingers. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to make this one a Cupid Express Mail. I don't know, I just thought of it in my head. It's very Valentine's Day. And I like it. 
So I'm just going in with my Sharpie and I'm going to just hand write. You can definitely go in with your, if you have your Cricut and you can use the heat transfer vinyl and you can press it on if you don't want to write. And if you like your writing a lot when you paint, you can even go in with acrylic paint and seal it by using heat. Well, you got to cover it first and then with a piece of fabric and then use your iron and you can seal it in that way too. Hmm. Just a little fun fact in case you didn't know you can do that. You can. Okay, so I made an arrow and then I made another arrow and it was chunky and funky and I hated it. So I'm going to make another postage stamp. But this time I cut out a square piece of cardboard and a fabric cart. And I'm going to take and make some more little fabric carts with my scrap piece, all different sizes. And I cut another cardboard heart to break up the colors. And another one. So I got two. And then I'm going to go in and dash a line around a couple of them. And then I go in and I end up using the tip of my paintbrush and painting a little caramel colored in the one. Just to kind of break it up so it wasn't all the same. And I poke it out the heart with the tip of my paintbrush and my caramel paint. And I hit up the letters on my Cupid Express mail. But I actually go in with pink. Because I felt like pink's more Valentine's Day and it make it pop. Even though I'm not a fan of pink. But it made it pop more so let's do it. And I'm just going to take my marker and make this little fake postage stamp look a little more like a postage stamp. And draw some squiggles and color them in. Now here I go. I'm hitting it up with the pink. On all them little dots that I had in the caramel. It actually worked in my favor because it was easier to dot. It's kind of hard to work with muslin fabric like the paint so this kind of helped it created a base okay so back to this one let's add some pink dots to them ends too why not and where i wrote deliver by february 14th i was gonna do it in pink and outline it in black but i hated it too much pink so I scrapped that idea and just rewrote on a piece of cardboard, delivered by February 14th, and glued it back on. Bam! Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to distress these bad boys. And here you can see I'm going to go in with my dry brush method. We want this to look like the mailman dropped it and walked all over it. And I only do it to these two envelopes, the Cupid Express and the To My Love. You can see I'm really focusing on these two side pieces the most because I really want them to have a look. And if you notice, when I flipped that over, I took two vase filler little foam balls and I created a stand so this little letter here can kind of set up. And it works great. I have this one in my living room with a picture frame that I had previously made. And for this one, doing the same thing, just distressing the edges. And what I decided to do was make the Cupid Express and the backward facing one with the big heart into magnets. Because my fridge doesn't have anything. And for the seasons lately, I've been making cute little magnets to put on my fridge. I'm going to insert on the screen the little pumpkin pie magnets I made for fall. They're so stinking cute. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm taking my Mod Podge and my cinnamon. And we're going to make these little side piece edges look a little rusted. And I do it to this heart. 
And I do it on the other one too. You can put it wherever your heart desires. And I'm showing you, this does not smear your Sharpie if you use a Sharpie. It seals it in great. And I don't think I've ever showed you how I seal in a project. So, there you go. I just take my Mod Podge and smear it all over. And for this one, I really go in with the cinnamon on the heart and them two sides where you can see the hot glue. And bam! So, as I clean up my cinnamon here, we are going to add the magnets. I got this pack here from Walmart. It was like $6 or something for this pack here. And they're assorted in sizes. So these are super lightweight. And I have a few small little magnets I pop on. And I just pop on how many magnets I think it needs to hold it up. And I could have just went with two to be honest with you. You can see my stand there better I made out of my foam heart beads and how it kind of props it up. And here they are on my fridge. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to follow me on Facebook at Unique Sweets and Treats and on Pinterest at Chantel Johnson 92. That's my name. Hmm.